Today I'll be showing you how to make Ubuntu look like Windows. So now, if you've just switched to Linux, or specifically Ubuntu, you may find it hard to like learn a totally new workflow and totally new way of doing things, and that's understandable. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to kind of recreate the Windows desktop look and feel on Ubuntu. And while it's not going to replicate Windows exactly, it's going to bring us pretty close. Now in this video, I'm focusing on Windows 10 theming, even though Windows 11 is coming out later this week, but the Windows 10 theme looks pretty close to the new Windows 11 theme. Like, I find Windows 11 is really just Windows 10 with a slightly modernized theme and layout. But anyways, let's get right into this. Alright, so now what I have here is a fresh install of Ubuntu, and I've done nothing to it yet aside from installing updates. So now, this desktop environment, no matter what you do to it in terms of theming and icons and whatnot, you're still going to be a far cry from the Windows experience. But one beauty of Linux is that you're not just stuck with the desktop environment that came with your Linux distribution. You can change it. So let's go and install a new desktop environment right now. So in order to to do that, we're going to go open up a terminal, and we're going to install the Cinnamon desktop environment, which is the default desktop environment on Linux Mint. In case you're unfamiliar, it much more closely resembles the Windows desktop than GNOME does. So we're going to go install that right now by doing a sudo apt install cinnamon-desktop-environment. And by the way, I'll have this command in the description. Then hit enter, punch in our password, and now we just need to hit enter here, and then it'll go install the Cinnamon desktop environment. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. Alright, once that's done, we're gonna go restart the system. Alright, and then once we're rebooted, we're gonna go click on our user, and then you see that little settings icon down in the bottom right corner? You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna click on Cinnamon. And then you're gonna just punch in your password as you usually would. And now you should be in the Cinnamon desktop environment. Now from now on, when you log in, it'll by default bring you to the Cinnamon desktop environment. Like, the last desktop environment that you logged in with is the one that you'll log in by default with the next Next time you log in, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I know this looks ugly as sin, but we're gonna fix that. So first of all, let's go to our menu right here, and then go up to system settings, and I'm gonna make this bigger. Now let's go to themes, and then click on add remove, and then for this we're gonna click yes, then it'll go get a new cache of themes. Now there's quite a few themes you could choose from, but the one we're interested in is Windows 10 Lite theme. We're gonna go download that, and now we can go back to themes, and then under our window borders, we can change that to Windows 10. And then we're going to do the same with our controls and our desktop. There we go. Already starting to look nicer, but we're not done yet. You probably want your icons to also resemble Windows, so we're going to go to this GitHub page, which I'll have linked in the description, and then click on this code button, download code button. We're going to click on that, and then you're going to click download zip, and then we're going to go save the file. Now, of course, you can also download this through the command line if you want to. However, if you're a new user, I'm just going to say, don't worry about that too much right now. That's going to be later in your Linux journey if you ever get to that. But I may have actually already downloaded the file. I've got this right here in my downloads folder. It'll be called windows10master.zip. We're going to open that up, then click extract. Then we're going to go back to our home folder, then right click, and then check off show hidden files. And then we're going to go into our .icons folder. Now if you don't have a .icons folder, no worries, you can just create one just by going to your home folder, and under view we actually need to show hidden files. And then you can create a new folder just by right clicking and then clicking create new folder. Then you call it .icons. But anyway, we're going to extract this zip file to our .icons folder, and then once it says extraction completed successfully, we're going to close out of this, then go back to our system settings, then change our icons to Windows 10 Master. There we go. Now this mouse pointer is obviously not Windows, so we're going to change that to make it look like Windows, and we're going to do that by downloading this cursor theme. Let's go over to Files. Now I know this is a Windows 8.1 cursor theme, but this is basically the same cursors that are used on Windows 10, and I believe also on Windows 11. But anyway, we're going to go with the top one, or the most 
recent one. Click the little download button on that, and then you can click either download or download mirror. I like to click download mirror since it's generally faster. But anyway, I've actually already got this file downloaded. It's also in my downloads folder. It'll be called win 8.1 nsskde.r2.tar.bz2. That's a mouthful, I know, but anyway, we're gonna open that up, and then we're gonna go into this folder here, and then you can get a couple choices. So now the NS version means no shadow, so if you don't want shadows on your mouse cursor, you'd get this one. Or if you want your mouse cursor to be shadowed, you can get the S version, whichever one you want. But anyway, once you've selected which version you want, I'm gonna be going with the NS version. You're gonna click on that, then click Extract, and then we're gonna go back to our home folder and extract this to our dot icons folder. And then once it says extraction completed successfully, we're gonna get out of here and change our mouse pointer to win 8.1. There we go. All right, now we're gonna fix another aesthetic thing. One last one, because this wallpaper is, for one thing, ugly as sin, in my opinion. And second, not Windows at all. So if you wanna get the Windows Lite wallpaper, you can head over to wallpaperhub.app and grab that here just by clicking download. And then you're gonna save the file. Now again, I've already got this file downloaded. I've got it right in my downloads folder. So now let's go back into our system settings and then go to backgrounds. And then we can click this little plus button right here and then find where you downloaded that file. It'll be in the downloads folder by default. You're gonna click on that folder and then you're gonna click open. And you could also put the file in your pictures folder. But anyway, we're gonna go to downloads, then select that wallpaper. And now it should have applied. There we go. So now you have Linux that looks like Windows. Now if you want your menu icon to be the Windows logo, all you have to do is just right click on it, then click configure, and then turn on use a custom icon and label, and then click here, and then you're gonna search for menu, and then you're gonna click on this Windows logo, and there we go. Not 100% accurate, but close enough. And if you don't want this menu text, no worries, you could just delete everything in this box, and there you go. Now if you wanna remove this stuff to the middle, the way Windows 11 does. Just right click here, then click panel settings, and then click on a panel edit mode. And then you can move this stuff to the center of the panel right here, like that. Do the same thing with the show desktop icon and the menu. Now you probably want your show desktop icon on the right here. To do that, drag it and drop it here. And there we go. Now once you're done, you're going to want to get out of panel edit mode to return it back to normal. And there you go. All right, so now I'm going to go over a couple optional steps you can do to improve the experience. So now, first of all, Ubuntu ships with what's called the Snap Store by default, which I can't get it open for whatever reason, but essentially it's the GNOME software application packaged as a Snap. Now, I know this is going to be pretty complicated for Linux noobs, but essentially it'll run slower, and most annoyingly of all, it doesn't respect the theme. Now, for most users, this is totally fine, especially since they are working on the performance issues, but it does make it really annoying when you're trying to customize your Linux desktop. So now you could do it graphically from the Snap Store just by looking for GNOME software, installing that, and then going to GNOME software and then removing the Snap Store. But you could also do this from the command line by typing in sudo snap remove snap dash store and and sudo apt install gnome dash software. Then hit enter, punch in your password, and then let it do its thing. And then once this pops up, you're going to hit enter. All right, now if we go back into our menu and then type software, now we should have the software application installed. There we go, and now that is opening up. And as you can see, it totally respects the theme, and you'll probably notice that it's considerably faster than the Snap Store. I don't know why Ubuntu switched to the Snap Store by default for software management. I think that was a very stupid decision, and hopefully they reverse course when Ubuntu 22.04 comes out in late April of next year. But anyway, you may also notice that you have two files apps. One is called Nautilus and another called Nemo. Now let me explain. Nautilus is the default file manager for the GNOME desktop environment, and Nemo is the default file manager for the Cinnamon desktop environment. Now both, at least in my opinion, work best with their respective desktop environments. And this is actually another customization advantage with Linux. You can actually choose your file manager. You're not just stuck with the one that Microsoft provides you. But anyway, you may not like the idea of having two file managers. You may think 
that that's redundant? I think so too. So in order to do that, you can easily just go remove one. So I actually want to remove Nautilus. So you just search for your file manager that you want to remove on the software application, then click on that. And then just make sure that it is the file manager that you want to remove. Yes, it is. That's the description. We're going to go remove that then click remove. And then we're gonna punch in our password, then hit enter, and then it'll go remove the files app. And while that's removing, I just wanna say another thing. I'm gonna give another tip in Linux in general. Let's say I'm gonna use Firefox as an example, even though that's already installed. If there are two different results for an app, you can go look at the source. Now the one from the Snap Store, snapcraft.io, as it says here, is not gonna be the one that you want since it has the same issues that the Snap Store has. It's slower and it won't respect the theme. So now you may I also find an app that comes from Ubuntu, Focal, whatever. That's the one that you'll want, which that'll usually be at the bottom. But anyway, like apps from here, also known as Debian packages, are faster than snaps and they also respect the theme. So just saying to keep your desktop as coherent as possible, if an app exists as both a snap package and a Debian package, get the Debian package. But anyway, I guess that's it for this video. And that was my guide to making Ubuntu look like Windows. Now, of course, you can feel free to find other Windows-like themes. If, for example, you like the Windows 7 look and feel, or the XP look and feel, or even the Windows 95 look and feel, a good website for that, I find, is gnomelook.org, and I'll have that in the description. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.